hello there people, I'm just uh, here today to do a, a video on the um, comparison between the uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia and the iPhone and uh, this test actually occurred over a period of seven months and uh, both phones were actually used over that period of time and I even kept a backup phone to see just in case any of these phones weren't going to work um, I kept a backup phone as well that's a small Nokia 1670 as well over the period of time. The idea of the test was to see, rather than just talking about new phones and what they actually do, but just to see what actually happened to the phones over the period of time, um, see how reliable they were. Um, it's a seven month test um, and uh, both phones I actually purchased. So uh, now uh, from the beginning, I found from the beginning that the iPhone had much better connectivity to Wi-Fi uh, than the, the Xperia. The Xperia actually had to, I actually had to download, um, it, it, the Xperia was able to connect directly to the, um, to Wi-Fi without a code. But what I uh, had to do to connect to, to an enclosed circuit system, or at least closed um, Wi-Fi, with a, with a code, I had to actually download some further software. So, um, in this case, with the iPhone, I certainly grant the, um, the iPhone the winner with regards to connectivity to Wi-Fi. There's no doubt about that. Um, now, for myself being a Windows person originally, um, I, I love all the features that the, the Xperia has with regards to, to Word documents and um, connectivity to... Um, you know, emailing and, and all that sort of thing, Microsoft Office. Uh, but with the uh, all the new applications that are now available for iPhone, um, the iPhone now has exceeded, uh, in fact, Windows technology. Uh, and there is certainly a lot more available to it as well. Um, so that's a big difference there as well. Uh, on the other side of things, uh, now we all know that the, uh, the Xperia comes with a full QWERTY keyboard. Uh, what's actually happened after seven months though is the device itself uh, when I turn it on um, it's now no longer uh, doing what it should be doing with regards to moving from portrait to landscape it just goes into a blank screen so that's certainly an error now I tried to fix this several times um, the I downloaded the software to, to fix that uh, and uh, to no avail. In fact, the software, I've, I've done a, a cold boot, I've actually uh, cold start as in a restart or refresh the whole device and uh, to no avail. Uh, basically, um, that is definitely a fault in, this, in, the, in the system and I'll have to take it back to Sony Ericsson to get it, to get it fixed. Um, I think it's purely because the Xperia is really the first generation of 6.1 phones. The finish of the phone is fantastic. Um, the other thing I want to mention about the Xperia X1 was a couple of other nasty little things that um, which we which we had as a problem. Now, of course, when you have phones that you can open the back up to, you'll you'll see here uh, what's actually happened. They've actually made an exoskeleton um, on the Xperia. It's a very very strong exoskeleton. But what I what I found is because it's got this this um, very strong plate on the outside. They haven't made the inner inside of it very strong. Now, as you can see here, it, the inside has actually crumbled away. Um, and what I've actually had to do is glue together the uh, pieces so it wouldn't all fall apart. Uh, and as a consequence, what actually has happened is with the glue, it's not only done that, it's actually, it's actually stuck the stylus in as well. Probably shouldn't have stuck the stylus in, it's pretty stupid, but uh, I didn't think that would happen. And... Um, yeah, if I hadn't have glued it, it, the whole thing inside would have crumbled away and then the back plate wouldn't have stayed on either. So, uh, poorly made. Uh, unfortunately, it, this really was disturbing because this is a $1,000 phone. And, you know, the worst part about this whole thing is, is there's no claim for things like a warranty because, you know, it looks like physical damage. Uh, in this case, it wasn't. It was purely just putting the back lid on under normal circumstances and as you can see the back lid goes on normally and if you push it on 
before the uh, it would fit on, but when you when you're taking it off, back and forth and back and forth, it would crumble away the sides and insides of the actual phone. So I give like a, a half a star for um, the internal design of the phone. Ten stars for the outside. Um, Okay, so it was a nice attempt, really, for Sony Ericsson Xperia. Um, and um, I've seen the new Xperia X2. The keys, in fact, um, in the new version are actually made, it looks like they're made of plastic as well. So I hope that it's not going backwards um, in that area. I chose these two these two phones to test, really, because they, ha they look like nicely finished phones. They've got, as well, I mean, iPhone's obviously the most popular out there. But they, this was the closest I could get to can, with the quality because it has a nice glass screen on the front as well. Um, so I thought, look, let's get something nice to compare. But the Ericsson certainly uh, doesn't really rate at all. Uh, the video quality being the same camera size, 3 megapixel, um, certainly does not match um, the iPhone. Even if the iPhone is 3.2 megapixel as well, the video quality on the iPhone and the still camera quality is by far better. There is no doubt about it. Um, the Apple is by far a better product. The other thing I also found was on the Xperia X1 was the, the issue with um, some software. We had, um, after all those other problems, I downloaded some pro um, Twitter programs and there were about three different types for, for Windows. One of them appeared to um, do some internal software damage to the phone, I had to reset it. So there's something to be said about open source um, programs. Uh, you know, we know that the iPhone is not bugless, but I know that because it's more closed source, it does make it a little bit better. So overall, what do I say about both phones? Um, okay, um, there's no doubt about it, the iPhone wins hands down in quality, it still does today. There's a hundred thousand applications for it, um, as opposed to much fewer few, fewer applications for the the Sony Ericsson. Um, overall, what ended up happening in in all circumstances for usability was was um, that I ended up using a small Nokia in most cases, um, most of the time. Um, the reason is because the iPhone I found a little bit big uh, to carry around. Um, and uh, but I, you know, certainly would use it most of the time at home. But if I was going to carry a phone around, a phone this size certainly was more my cup of tea, um, you know, because it could just fit in my pocket. So um, you know, that's that's the case. For the next phone, what would be my next phone? Uh, I would say, look, if if um, if HTC came up with something with a glass front, you know, if it's if it's if it's something like a, um, you know, if it's Android and Hero with decent programs with the, with the glass front, yes, I certainly take it um, or, or look into it. Uh, but I think the next phone would probably be the, the new, new generation iPhone for me. Um, and that would be the, the apparently it's going to be the Series 4, which will have a 5 megapixel camera and video. And it will have um, overall better Wi-Fi. Um, it'll also have a flash on the back, um, and of course the biggest number one thing the new iPhone is very likely to have is uh, a replaceable battery as well. So, um, so there's my uh, there's my just conclusion on all the phones, um, which I've been tested over seven months. Uh, a real shame on the Sony Ericsson side. Um, you know they 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 really in my books they've always always been really number one in the last three years in quality. Uh, still can't match the um, the iPhone uh, in, the, in, in, in its finish and uh, functionality and the applications. But um, we know that Windows 6.5 is out and the HTC HD2 uh, is looking good, but it's still, again, they can hold their, the finish of the phone is not as, as nice as what the iPhone is. It's still opinion. Um, you can leave your, feel free to leave your feedback uh, on this, and uh, thanks very much. But I think what I'll be doing is, just for the moment, until next year, sticking with my little Nokia and enjoying that. Thanks very much.